It looks like Karros Danger, the most infamous texting Twitter on the internet, now has some competition from the French. His name is Carlos. He's Carlos Danger. He's got that creepy kind of stare. Tweets in his underwear. Yeah, he's Carlos. He's Carlos Danger. To internet porn, he's no stranger. Yeah, he's Carlos. He's Carlos Danger. Tweeting and texting. The man's wildly sexting. He's Carlos. He could be. Well, we have to go back a few years. Anthony Oscarmeyer Wiener. Remember him, the New York congressman who got caught sending out pictures of his genitals over Twitter. And for a few days, he denied it. In fact, when he was on with Rachel Madcow over on PMSNBC, he was asked point blank, are those yours? Referring to the picture. And he kept saying, I cannot definitively say yes or no. Um... Hmm. You know, being a guy myself, I can tell you if I saw a picture, I would know. Yes or no. And he knew. Then, for a week, he tried to tell media pundits that he had been hacked. And the liberals and the Democrats were willing to give him a complete pass. The young Turks on YouTube were just talking about how nasty and vile the conservatives and the Republicans were. They had hacked into his Twitter account and were releasing pictures of his genitals. And nobody bothered to ask the obvious question. Even if he had been hacked, why did he have pictures of his manhood on his phone. Why would a guy carry that around if he wasn't doing something with those pictures? And then, of course, it came out, yes, he had been sexting. He had not actually physically done anything with these women, but he had been, you know, sending lewd pictures of himself and talking dirty. Now, what, of course, made it so salacious was the fact that Anthony Weiner himself, typical New York liberal, incredibly ambitious, didn't ever see a TV camera he didn't want to be in front of spouting an opinion on something, absolutely hated, loathed, and despised conservatives and Republicans, and so he was seen as a real up-and-comer within the Democratic process. Then, of course, he gets outed for the sexting. But then was the whole wife connection, Uma Aberdeen, who just happened to be the right-hand man of Hillary Rodham Clinton. And of course, let's see, Bill and all of his little picadillos, and now Hillary Rodham Clinton has this senior staff associate who has problems literally keeping it in his pants. I mean, this was, this, was, this was unbelievable. What is it with these liberal guys and the fact that they just use liberalism to draw women to themselves so that they can abuse them, take advantage of them, and act like it's a scene in Animal House? So, eventually, Anthony Oscar Mayer Wiener resigns from the Congress. But, you know, he counted on the American people having a short attention span and pretty soon, he was running to be the Democratic mayor of New York City. And then it happened. He did it again. You would have thought after being exposed that way, literally, that that would be it. He would swear off of it forever. But not only was he caught again, and the name of the woman that he was sending this stuff to uh, her, her last name was Leather. <laughs> you just can't make this stuff up. We got a wiener and a leather. And then we find out the way he would communicate with her was under a pseudo name. He was Garros Danger. And that was so good that even the late night comedians who normally give liberals a pass on a lot of stuff, they couldn't pass that up. That was just way, way too funny. What was not funny was the fact that Anthony Weiner ended up going to prison because some of the pictures revealed that while he was 
sexting, you know, laying there taking pictures of himself. His baby was lying on the bed next to him. And that was more than an ew. That was an outright endangerment of a minor. That was the end of his mayoral run. Off to prison he went. Carlos. Danger. Now it turns out Mitt Romney, he tweets under a pseudo name. It's Mitt Romney and secret Twitter account. Slate over the weekend found an account under the nom de Twitter, Pierre Delecto, and noticed some strange overlap with the Romney family. A reporter for The Atlantic then asked Romney, is this you? Say moi, Romney responded. Now Romney says he used the secret Twitter account to lurk and to keep tabs on the political move. I mean, the fact that that is where he is and that's what this represents tells you something about Mitt Romney. Where do these guys come up with these names? I am Carlos Danger. Mitt Romney posts as Pierre Delecto. Pierre Delecto. Pierre, I am delectable. I am Pierre. I, you just, you can't make this stuff up. Now at CNN, what they're trying to do is they want it to appear as if they are lampooning the senator, but they're really not because his vote and his voice is going to become very important if they ever manage to really do an impeachment and kick it over to the Senate because you know Mitt Romney is going to be called upon to lead the charge for Republicans to break rank away from the president and vote for impeachment. And this is about to give Mitt Romney a big head. And uh, he, he is, is now kind of outed as your online stalking reporters and people as Pierre Delecto. So they want to try to like laugh it off. Well, you know, he's such a nerd. This is like the worst thing he's like ever done in his life. Really? What is he doing as Pierre Delecto online? Is it just trolling the reporters at the New York Times and CNN? Or does he have a does he have one of those little naughty Madison accounts? Does does he do any um sexting himself? I mean, he's got the secret identity. And he certainly isn't a superhero. So now Mitt Romney, the guy who considers himself much more of a moral fortitude than Donald J. Trump and how that man ever became our president when America had rejected and dejected me. Well, I decided to do a little investigating on my own. And we have come up with here at the Afternoon Drive this top secret training video uh, Mitt Romney, of course, here he is working incognito as his alter alias, Pierre Delecto. And here he is with an underling staff member training him on what it means to be a member of Team Romney. If he's going to hang out with Pierre, he's going to have to understand that Pierre demands his total and complete always being vigilant and focused. And so here we have exclusive on the afternoon drive, a training video of Mitt Romney training a staff member to properly be on a moment instantaneous notice ready to spring into action for the good senator. I am going to be frank. Since you are only a detective second class, your senses may not be as sharp as my own. And as I do not want a partner who makes me Della, I have come up with a plan to keep you as sharp as possible. And what is that? Intermittently and without warning, I will attack you whenever and wherever it is least expected. In this way, I will keep you vigilant and alert. Agreed? Yes. Good one. Thank you. Good one. Thank you. Good night. Good one. <laughs> Pierre Delecto. Oh, 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 some reporter out there, hint, hint, Project Veritas, some reporter out there, hint, hint, Stick Hexenhammer, some reporter out there, come on, Lionel over at Lionel Nation, some reporter out there, some commentator out there, Dr. Stephen Turley, Mark Dice, where are you guys? We need you. What is P. 
Pierre Delecto actually been up to? You know, I need senior political analyst Andrew over at Run Don't Walk to be on this. That's it for this rant. Hey, give us a thumbs up and a like. Please spread this video everywhere. Make sure you're a subscriber to the channel. If you are, thank you. If you're not, please do so. And make sure you smack the bell for notification of my next rant.